Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, more beer for us. Djokovic versus Federer went to the fifth set. Understand if you follow the pre-match video, you were on both sides of the play in the fourth and fifth sets. Djokovic winning in five delivered on that portion of the bet at five to one. So even though, right, Djokovic didn't win in four, Federer didn't win in four, Federer didn't win in five, just hitting on the Djokovic in five got you a nice rate of return and allowed you to sit back and watch a spectacular tennis match. Make it to the fifth set knowing that you were going to win if either guy won the match. Those are the kind of bets I prefer. I understand the critics want you to take a side. They don't like the idea of betting on situations and then hedging the situational bet. Right? But understand whatever it takes to win, whatever it takes to leave the casino with more money than you walked into the casino with, to me is worth it, even if you have to be creative in structuring the bet. Let me make one other point. This will be a short video. Very few athletes, even elite athletes, very few, can be pushed to the wall, can be on the verge of getting blown out, can be down by a huge margin, and then come back. It takes a lot, especially against world-class competition. Many guys crack, right? The ability to bounce back is rare. If you look in the NFL, you'll notice that very few quarterbacks in the league have good records of coming back from 21 points down. Very few. Not surprisingly, one of them is Tom Brady. Another is Peyton Manning. Yesterday in the fourth set against Novak Djokovic, who was on his game, Roger Federer at 32 was about to lose. Right? He was down championship point. Right? He was getting steamrolled. This is like the boxer on the canvas looking at the ref as the ref gets to nine. Knowing that the last punch that occurred was the one that put him down. Federer figuratively gets off the canvas. And then he gets back to doing work. That fourth set was riveting. Quite frankly, I know many people here online follow me for boxing. But that fourth set was as good as any moment in sports this year. Right? Sports really is an analogy for life. And when you see an athlete getting battered, get off the canvas and start to fight back. It's a moment, right? It's life at its best. Federer's resilience gets a wow. It's worth a look, right? People want to know 
how many more years Federer is going to play? I don't have the answer to that question, but I can tell you based on his mental strength. He could play several if he wanted to at the world level. Not everyone in tennis is as good as Novak Djokovic. Right here was Federer against a juggernaut. Fighting back, winning the fourth set, getting this to a fifth set, and then holding his own in the fifth set. Right? Spectacular performance. If you haven't seen the film, I strongly recommend that you find it and view it. It was riveting. Let me just take this moment to applaud both men on making a great event even greater. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.